Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Capital Markets Report. Today is Wednesday, March 12, 2008. ExxonMobil says it has no intention of selling its ESO unit refinery, service stations, or other assets in Argentina, reports the Associated Press. Spokesman for Exxon Thomas Hess told reporters that the company had decided to keep its refinery, retail, and chemical product operations in Argentina. Reports that Exxon wanted to sell its refinery and service station assets in Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Uruguay, and Paraguay surfaced last August. ESO had operated in Argentina for more than 90 years. Exxon Mobile through its local SO unit controls an estimated 12 percent of the Argentine fuel market and operates two gas fields. Staying with Capital Markets News, Chinese medical device maker MindRay Medical International is buying Datascope Corporation's patient monitoring business for $202 million, the company announced. The acquisition marks MindRay's first foray into the U.S. market. The deal between MindRay and Datascope comes as the Chinese healthcare companies increasingly look to overseas markets to build on profits made on low-cost manufacturing at home, the Wall Street Journal reports. And in other capital markets news, Cadbury Schweppes will complete the spin-off of its U.S. drinks business on May 7th and says it has secured credit agreements for both the new companies, reports the Associated Press. Analysts had predicted just last week that Cadbury would face difficulties raising money amid turmoil in the debt markets and that the deal may be delayed. The UK-based confectionery and drinks group said in a statement that a shareholder meeting to approve the spin-off of its American Beverages unit would be held on April 11th. The unit, which will be called Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, is expected to list on the New York Stock Exchange on May 7th. And in more capital markets news, Fortis had named the former head of the Bank's America's acquisition finance team, Michael van der Voort and Danny Ip, who headed up its agricultural commodities desk in Hong Kong, as managing directors of the U.S. and Hong Kong commodities teams, respectively. Van der Voort will manage commodities teams in the U.S. Ip in Hong Kong replaces Kenny Wee, who left for undisclosed reasons. And that rounds out today's Capital Markets Report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our Capital Markets channel online and read the latest developments.